Basically, a religious brother is a member of a Catholic religious institute who commits himself to following Christ in a consecrated life of the church, usually by the vows of poverty, celibacy, and obedience. A religious brother lives a life of communal prayer and witnesses both individually and collectively to Christ's loving presence by service and charity. Basically, it is a man who devotes his life completely to God. The brothers are men in the Catholic Church who devote their lives to spreading the word of God. They usually do it to people in hardship who are in rehab centers, detention centers, young teenagers that are more susceptible to to finding out who God is. They want they want they're seeking out to to find themselves and that's where a lot of them go to to target those people. Jesuit brothers are similar to the average human being because both of them are devoting their lives to God. The average person devotes their life by getting married. That's a sign of, of love to God because that's what God wants. But you could also show your love to God by devoting all your time and effort and all, all you want to do is be with God and preach the word of God. A Jesuit brother and a priest are similar because they both devote their life entirely to um, spreading the word of God they both uh, they don't they don't they sacrifice certain things because it distracts them from completely giving up their time and efforts to God a Jesuit brother is someone who has been called down on by God to do what they do preach the word of God they um they they know that they they want to be a Jesuit brother because they feel happiness when they're doing the works of God. You know, preaching to people that 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 are seeking out to to be happy. They, that's what they enjoy, going out and helping other people find God and learning about Him. Brother needs to have many traits and many other. Human beings don't have, such as a deep personal love for Jesus, a habit of prayer, a good religious practice, social ability. He needs to be able to enjoy a life of chastity, obedience, and poverty. He needs to have good physical health, and he needs to have intellectual capacity. There are many stages to become a Jesuit brother. The first stage is the novitiate stage, which is two years. Then there's the first studies, which is three years. Then there's the residency, which is another two years. Then there's the ordination, which usually takes place in around June. Then there's the first assignment, which is the tertianship. That takes five years. Then they take a full year to review their formation, to experience, again, the 30-day retreat, and pronounce their final vows in the society. A religious brother usually hears the call within his heart. Jesuits look for men who feel called by God and who also possess a deep personal love for Jesus Christ, a habit of prayer which develops into action, sufficient self-knowledge, good religious practice, an intellectual capability, a sense of sociability and availability, some familiarity with Jesuits, good physical health, a history of service and concern for the poor, the joy to live a life of poverty, chastity, and obedience, and a strong desire, zeal for being a Jesuit.